We're here at, I, I was going to say Murph, we're here at yeah. Earth, Earth. <laughs> at the e Naval booth. And I, I don't think I've ever talked to you guys in person, but you, you're doing a really great job. Before that, quick shout out to Prusa 3D for sponsoring this trip. The new Prusa Mini comes with a not so mini 18 centimeter cubed build volume, a heated magnetic PI spring steel flex bed, and an all new 32 bit electronics platform with the newest Trinamic drivers, a full color LCD screen and networking built right in. And best of all, it's only $349. Check out the Prusa Mini at the link below. Eric, so what is what is the Enable project? How, how did it come together? So the Enable project is a group of uh, just volunteers that have 3D printers uh, all over the world. There's about 15,000 of us. Uh, and we communicate all through, used to be Google+, Plus that oh, yeah. went away. Google+, Plus, well, it was amazing. Yeah, it was great. Uh, and then they got rid of it. So we kind of scrambled over the past year, and now we have a new uh, page called the Enable Hub, where we, it's basically our new Google Plus, and we all communicate with each other uh, across countries uh, just to figure out who needs prosthetics and how we can get those prosthetics to the people that need them. Yeah. So what you're making is hands mostly, right? Hands and like lower arms. Hands and, uh, hands and forearms. Uh, not up to the shoulders yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting close. So it's it's a completely volunteer project. The wearers don't pay for their prosthetics because that, that's how it all got started, right? Exactly. So we found that people needed prosthetics, but they couldn't always afford them. So we came up with uh, 3D printing as a cheap way to make them, very low cost. So volunteers can pay for the expenses, uh, and then we can give the hands to the people that need them for free. Yeah. So talking about expenses, how much does a, where's a simple hand, simple-ish hand? Okay, how much does it cost to make one of these Incredibles hands? So uh, all the materials, all the little rubber bands, some screws and some fishing line, um, cost altogether about $30. Compared to what would a professional one cost? Compared to about $5,000. Yeah, and, and that's that's cost that is with the people who receive these hands. Those are folks that don't have like any sort of insurance that would have to pay that out of pocket. Right. So they, they have no other option. And the really nice thing about these is uh, we make these for kids a lot. And kids, they, they, they do two things. They tend to change their minds and they tend to grow the horrible little yeah. things. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to be able to uh, kind of adapt. So if they break the hand, we can print them a new one in the matter of about a day. Yeah. If that, they, that, that's something I can do. If I break my hand, I can print a new one. That right. doesn't work that way. Right, that's, it's great. Uh, if they decide, hey, I don't like the Incredibles anymore, uh, I like Iron Man now, we can, make the, we can make an Iron Man hand. Whatever they want, we can do it. Perfect, and the, so the, this one is for, for what, uh, what sort of, uh, yeah. how do I? In the community, um, we, we talk about limb differences. So in the limb difference community, the difference we'd be looking at for somebody to use this is somebody that is missing their fingers. So they have a palm that can push against this little bar or a little mesh that we can print. Uh, and when they bend their wrist, just like this, the fingers will all close. That gives them basic grasping abilities. You, you used to have a full size or a tw twice scale model that you could put your, your I don't want to say normal hand, that, that sounds wrong, but that you can <laughs> right, take right. a hand like this into an, and, and yeah. yeah. But that one has disappeared. Uh, actually, the founder of Enable was here and he said he needs it for another conference. So when the founder says, I need that, you, you give it to him. So he ran off with it. And it looks like some of the, the prosthesis you have here are adaptable to, to like any limb difference shape that he, that he might have. But what you're also doing in the Enable project is you're actually creating custom fits for people. Mm -hmm. How does that work? So for custom fits, what we can do, uh, there's, there's a couple different ways we can do it. If somebody sends us photographs and there's a ruler within the photograph, we can actually do custom scaling and figure out the exact size that we need. Uh, and then what we do, maybe something like an arm. So this is an arm with the same hand design that you saw, except instead of maybe they're missing their arm somewhere on the forearm, as long as they can bend their elbow, we can get them one of these. Ooh, that, that's a nice mechanism there. It's a very nice mechanism. Um, we'd line this with medical grade foam. And the very cool thing, this, this was amazing when I first learned about it a couple years ago. Uh, we print these pieces flat and then we just thermoform them. Yeah, I've, I've seen that process. It's, it's really nice because you, 
can, with PLA, you don't have to heat it to like a scalding hot temperature and you can form it with touchable temperatures. Though. Right, right. We just heat it up with a hairdryer actually and, and we're good to go. And you can actually, you would wrap your recipient's arm in a sock or some kind of cloth and then you can directly wrap this around them and you get a really nice tight fit customized to them. Nice. So you've been talking about this, I think it was this one, with acceptance of prosthetics because it's, I think they're cool. I think that it, just that that combination of, of technology being worn as a, as a tool, I think is amazing, but obviously uh, it's, it might not be as well accepted everywhere. So this is, this is one that, he, that we were talking about earlier uh, that is trying to work on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, in developing countries where these are really needed, um, they don't so much want superhero hands. There's a stigma to kind of colorful kind of looking devices. Specifically in Haiti, our work showed we brought a bunch of colorful hands and uh, people were like they were zombie hands. So they kind of rejected them. Uh, they wanted something that looked realistic. So we started to come out with designs like this. So this is uh, called a gripper thumb. Uh, it works like a prosthetic hook. Uh, and a lot of the users that we have are used to using prosthetic hooks. Uh, and the problem they have is it looks like a hook. So we took the functionality of a hook and put it into something that looks like a hand. So you can actually wear a glove over this and you can't really tell that it's, it's mechanical. Um, and it's, it's a nice benefit. Yeah, and this is one of the, the motorized ones that you have. How, does, how is that controlled? So this is a new motorized design. Uh, actually, we've first released it here at, at Earth. Um, nope, we're all good. So all the electronics fit inside of a, just a, like an iPhone jogging case. Uh, and then there's a little button. You can put this button anywhere on your user uh, and they can actuate it. They can push it against their body. And when they push it, um, there's just a servo in there that pulls it open. And it's a reasonably good for us. Yeah, that can hold some things. It is strong enough. Uh, where's our lightsaber? Did it disappear? This is a great model. 3D oh, yeah. printing world, the lightsaber, it's strong enough that we can actually take the lightsaber and we can flick it out and we can wave it around and fight some Sith or Jedi, whatever we want to do. That is awesome. So with, with the lightsaber, with the superhero theme, um, I asked you earlier, is, is that actually a problem? Because you've, you've got the Incredibles, you had one Captain America that apparently also went missing. Right, right. Are you getting copyright or, or trademark issues with that at all? We, we haven't had anything yet. Uh, all the companies that, that have had hands that we've themed after, they've been very open to this happening and haven't kind of come down or clamped down on us at all. That's good, because obviously you're not, you're not making money with this. In fact, you guys are investing your own time, you're spending your own money on it. Uh, you do have some outside funding, right? We do. Uh, occasionally we get grants from different organizations. Um, so IBM, I think, has given us some money in the past. Uh, Google has been very generous with, with granting us money. And then what we usually do with that money is we take it and we turn it around and give it back to the community. So the community can write grants for project ideas that they have. Uh, and then that money can support development of new designs. Things like this gripper hand or these mechanical kinds of designs. Um, nice. So, two last questions. How does the process work to get enrolled and to start printing hands for people? Right. So, we have a website. Uh, everybody can go and basically you sign into this website uh, and tell people I have a 3D printer. Then you would design, uh, not design, you would download one of our designs, print it up, and you sub submit some pictures and you'll get a digital badge saying, I can make this design and, and we'll approve you. And then you're set to start getting matched with people. We have another website that will match you with the recipients. Recipient comes in, they upload some pictures, uh, upload their location, and we try to match them with somebody that's local to them. Uh, and they print the hand and give it out. Nice. And the other question, do you make like extra thumbs that you could put in on like the op So you actually have opposing thumbs? I, I, I think we could. I think so. We have finger designs. Ooh. I think we could very quickly and easily adapt this. Maybe strap, get you a nice little TPU strap or something. So, so you can get, we'll get you another thumb. We'll get you two more thumbs. Why would this be normal when you, when you can have you know, right? more fingers? Yeah? Let's have another. Perfect. All right. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.